Hello guys, my name is Ksenia Gulko and I'm a blogger from the Namu Jolly blog and the Namu Jolly shop. And as you have probably understood, Namu is specialized in the Amber Jolly, as the previous videos that you have seen are about Amber. But as well, we are specializing at the Lapis Lazuli, one of the most beautiful stones I have ever seen. And today I want to tell you the 10 healing properties of the Lapis Lazuli. You know that the natural stones and the natural stone jewelry is the very great choice. The most important thing is that the natural stones have healing and magical properties and today we will talk about the healing properties of lapis lazuli. From the ancient times lapis lazuli was really valued more than gold. When people were dreaming not just about a new smartphone or about a house on some beautiful islands, people were dreaming of uh, their mental and physical. Lapis lazuli was dedicated to the stones uh, that helped to meditate, so that helped to make your soul and body, so that body stronger. So the first healing property of the lapis lazuli is connected with its Egyptian name, the stone of the heaven. And it's not just because of its um, sky blue color, it is because Egyptians believe that this stone has a sacred knowledge in it, so that it helps to make your mentality and your soul stronger and one of the most important, to uh, feel it free from the toxic things so that uh, some people who are interested in some esoterical and yoga things they know that uh, while you healing your soul from the toxic you heal your body and so that heal your life of course if you are into the natural stones and their history and uh, studying of their properties you know that lapis lazuli is not the only a stone that helps to make the soul stronger but the main thing is it is like the most stronger one because it has something like a magical property it is about your past lives so if you are interested in some mental things in some I don't know maybe things that you cannot explain that the, but they are happening in your life and you cannot do anything with it. Some people believe that that is fate, but other people who are into some esoterical things, maybe some astrological, they believe that uh, this is connected with their previous lives. So you have done something in your previous life and you are paying for it right now. Lapis Lazuli is considered the stone perfect for the astral traveling for knowing yourself, for studying your previous lives and so that if you get more information about your previous lives it sounds funny and a bit strange but believe me everything you are getting in this life is connected with your previous problems, previous dust, previous deals and previous relationships with other people so maybe even uh, your illnesses um, that are chronical could be connected with something you have done earlier. So studying your astral, studying your previous lives, your soul, with the help of the lapis lazuli, it is all about the meditation. I'm not talking about some magical rituals. No, it's all about the meditation. Believe me, everything you should know will come in your mind. But the lapis lazuli will be like a great helper of wit because it has the great power in itself. You can, for example, get more info about problems you haven't got yet, but you can get them in the, your future and you can do something, for example, to change your destiny, to change your fate and to change your life. I hope you don't have this great problem called insomnia because I had it and the one thing that helped me is a lapis lazuli. No, it's not an advertising, it's just a thing that really happened 
and I want to share it with you. Lots of people are suffering with insomnia and not all of them, including me, want to take pills or some other medical thing that could uh, heal your insomnia but make something uh, worse. So that um, you can just use lapis lazuli as a helper with fighting of this illness. You can use it as a patent or as a ring. Both of those things we have it in a mousse shop in a great price, really great price. So you can just go there and find something for yourself. You can just take lapis lazuli for fighting with insomnia, but later wear it with some, I don't know, grunge or more fashionable, some classic styles. I think it would be really, really great in combination with some total black or total white looks. So why Lapis Lazuli helps you to fight with insomnia? That is connected with the thing that it helps you to fight with the stress, not just directly with insomnia. And you probably know that if you are not into stress, you are not into insomnia. And as a bonus, uh, Lapis Lazuli, I don't really know, it doesn't uh, work for me, but I know people who told me yes, it is true, uh, is that Lapis Lazuli makes your dreams more colorful, more meaningful. One of the most important, you can remember them. Maybe you're interested in making dream journal, I think it's a great thing because when I was a teenager I made such a dream journal and I, I was writing in book about things that happened in my dreams, just modified them a bit closer to the life, closer to some philosophical things and you know some of my stories were really interesting and some of my friends said that they would love to read more. The next property is also a bit more a magical property than healing, but who cares? We are talking today about lapis and why you should totally have it. Uh, some time ago I was uh, writing a post about um, different uh, tribal journey that has appeared in some years ago, some maybe centuries ago, and it is popular right now and uh, it keeps popular for all of this time from the day it has appeared. One of those uh, things uh, was the bolo tie, bolo tie that uh, has appeared as a fashionable thing on some cowboys, but um, earlier it appeared in Indian culture so that there were two main stones that were used in those jewelry uh, it was uh, turquoise and it was lapis lazuli and uh, Indians used lapis lazuli because they believed that this stone uh, would help them to talk with their uh, spiritual guardians and to protect them from the uh, black uh, magic and some dark uh, world. In the short word, they uh, use it for the sacred and mystical communications. And uh, nowadays, people who are fond of properties of natural stones are saying that the lapis lazuli is a really a bridge of two worlds: the world where we are living and the world of your angel guardian. So if you are, for example, feeling that everything goes wrong and you have a depression or you don't know what to do in this life, you are feeling that everything you are doing is wrong and you just want someone to help you but you know that all the people around you can't help you because nobody understands you, just try to believe that there is a spiritual guardians that will help you. But the only thing that uh, maybe is not working for you is that your spiritual guardian can't help you because it is so far or maybe you are um, have something like a wall around you and so on and so on. So there is just the piece of lapis lazuli. It is the only thing needed to help your spiritual guardian to help you. So yes, you can laugh about it, um, you can not believe me, but 
you should just try. If you have real problems, just try first of all and then say that it is the wrong thing, it is lies and I'm, I'm the baddest uh, person in the world. I believe in magic and I believe in the negative uh, thoughts power. I'm really really afraid of the evil eye. So that I have lapis lazuli. Because I'm always afraid that someone will think something bad about me or wish something bad to me. And I believe that if one person does it, it doesn't matter. But if lots of people are, for example, feeling jealous uh, and why about you it could cause lots of problems so if you're the same person with the same feelings as i do just get a piece of lapis lazuli for you it will protect you not only from the stress or for from some dark powers but from the simple evil eye you can believe or you cannot but this thing is living in our world and it is working and it is scary. Try to talk with your lapis lazuli stone. Yes, it is strange, but um, when people started uh, to talk with water some decades ago, believing that if you're talking uh, in a positive clue, saying some nice things to the glass of water you are going to drink, you will get lots of minerals and vitamins or I don't know positive energy from this glass of water. The same thing is working with the natural stones and especially with the lapis lazuli. Just say something good every day to this stone and you will see how it is changing your life. And the most strange thing about lapis lazuli is also connected with words and the lapis lazuli. If you are, for example, a person who is working with publicity, you are, for example, a speaker, uh, so you are always talking with a great audience and you should not just talk with them, you should make them believe in something or do something or buy something. And this tone, somehow, I don't know wh why and how, but it really helped me to pass my last university exam connected with my diploma, you know, it's, it's a bad thing when you're coming before the great, um, the great uh, audience where lots of your teachers, professors, uh, lots of lots of people looking at you and you have to prove that uh, all of your knowledge is real and you have to get the diploma and uh, you're worth it so so you know these problems of students so, so that if you're not sure in the power of your words just uh, hold the lapis lazuli stone for example in your pocket or in your hand while speaking the magic will appear I don't know why, I don't know how, but just try and you will see how it is changing every person in this audience. Just try it and uh, write in the comments after it what you're thinking about this and what was the end of the experiment. And also it is working well if you're trying to find a new friends or your love and you're not feeling really, for example, really interesting person who can admire her or him. So just take a piece of lapis lazuli with you and believe that it will help you. Now I have really bad times for myself because I'm feeling something like a depression but the lapis lazuli is helping me and I want to say that, uh, you know, this feeling when you don't want to do anything, you don't feel yourself creative, you just can't organize your day, you just can't start doing something, you're just sitting, staring, you don't even want to cry, you're just eating, staring in the wall and sleeping, that's all. If you have such a problem, just take a lapis lazuli, find it, 
as fast as you can. Lapis Lazuli is a real stone that I have told you that it uh, will make your mind uh, better so you can remember and remind your dreams but it also will work as well good uh, in their daily life. Works good while preparing for exams or for some important presentations you have at your work or for everything. If you are, for example, an actor and you need to learn by your heart lots of words, just try to make lapis lazuli help you. And also it enhances the creativity and helps you to organize your life, helps you to feel yourself Mm, strong, feel yourself powerful, feel yourself real superhero who could do anything. Lapis Lazuli helps you to create your spiritual and physical balance so that, for example, also connected with words and speaking, if you have some problems with communication, it could be something uh, starting from uh, feeling shy and finishing with some really some physical problems that um, don't allow you to speak well, to have a great diction. And also for it could be interesting for people who have lots of problems, for example, with throat. Hello, it's me. The lapis lazuli helps to open the throat chakra so that it helps you to heal from your problems. Just wear the beads or necklaces or maybe choker with a lapis lazuli pattern, it will look really, really beautiful. Just try to make the choker white and you will see this great combination. And one more thing about the throat chakra. People who are into esoterics and yoga things, they know that opening the throat chakra and healing it makes your dream come true. Because there are sometimes things that we are afraid, we are not sure, uh, we are feeling not confident and responsive about. But when your throat chakra is opened, you are feeling the great power and the most important you are feeling that you really know what you want from this life. I'm sorry if you have some problems in your relationships with your friends or with your lovers or with your family. I'm really, really sorry. So that I want to help you and to tell that Lapis Lazuli also can solve this problem. Just, um, for example, purchase some Lapis Lazuli bracelets or rings for yourself and for the person you have problems with and you want to cure this relationship. Why they will be healed? Because the Lapis Lazuli is healing you and this person, your mentality, your physical body, everything in your life, everything will be greater and so that your relationships will be just like that. You have probably understood that Lapis Lazuli also can cure some physical problems and more powerfully this stone is working with this area so it could help if you are for example experiencing vocal or for example you have some chronic illnesses with your throat it also heals some problems with neck and so that with the back and lowers the blood pressure it works like a pain reducer so for example if you have some chronic um, pain, you can solve it with a lapis lazuli, like a stone or like a jewelry piece. It uh, helps with the headaches, migraines and also can help with the epilepsy. It really can make life easier for people who have Spengler syndrome or autism. Also in some rare situations lapis lazuli could be used with the problems of ears and eyes. 
If you have broken maybe your hands or fingers, or maybe even leg some time ago and you feel, for example, when it's uh, the weather is bad, when it's raining or something like this, if you feel this chronical pain, just put on it the bracelet or a necklace or for example a bracelet for uh, your feet uh, it could be found somewhere or it could be made for you especially so that it could help with this pain and reduce it as the bonus this stone also helps uh, women with their monthly problems and with uh, some pregnancy pain or other problems connected also with their nervous system and lettuce lazuli helps to control your weight and to control your appetite oh my god that is really true because i'm so fond of food and i'm so into having a big weight Fastly. And I think it is nothing to tell about, it helps with the depressions and all things that are going after it because it is a great helper and I have told you lots of things proving it. So then guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope it was interesting, I hope you get lots of useful information about the lapis lazuli. If you, for example, know something more or something I haven't said in this video, just write below in the comments. I will be so happy to add this information in this video. And please just uh, go below under this video, there is a link to the post. In the post so you will find even more info that I haven't told or even more info I haven't explained just uh, don't want to make this video so long as a movie in the theater. One more time, thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in purchasing some lapis lazuli jewelry, you can also follow the link below to the Namu jewelry store and you will find there lots of even fashionable things. Believe me, some of them are really, really great. Um, I just want you to pay your attention to chokers with the lapis lazuli in Turkey. They are just oh my god. Thank you for watching this video. Feel yourself always good, always creative and always inspired. Goodbye. And one more thing. Follow our YouTube and our blog. Don't forget about this.